Hello you all, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to check uh, the weekly general tarot reading for your star sign for the week 11th to 17th of uh, January 2021. And in case you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a, uh, a link to my website from which very front page you can see the full list of my services and as well their pricing. Also keep in mind that the content for YouTube and Facebook, they are uh, separate, they are exclusive to one another. While in YouTube you can find um, your weekly general tarot readings. In Facebook you are going to find astrology posts performed by the Pisces Moonbeam, which is an exceptional astrologer that works with me. And as well you can catch me live and have your daily tarot readings. So with that being said, enjoy the show. All right, so we do have Aquarius, uh, Sun, Moon, and as well, uh, rising on our hands. And give me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the cards, and we are to move right, uh, right into the reading. Right, so the first card for Aquarius, uh, that is going to be the Sun. Moving next, we do have uh, the Nine of Pentacles, followed by uh, the Death card. Afterwards, what we do have is going to be the Three of Cups. And the last one here, that is to be the Five of Cups. Those, um, those five cards. Okay, so uh, quite of a good start of the week it is what we do have for you Aquarius and that is going to be uh, the Sun card as we can see here. And uh, the, sur the Sun card generally speaks about the, um, how can I say, the positive unfoldment of your things, either in terms of career or either in terms of a, a relationship. You're going to feel that things can... Uh, can generally move even uh, further than they are right now and that is going to make you feel rather happy. I mean very very happy. That is because the sun gifts you with an expanding energies of growth where, wherever it goes and usually it does suffuse all of your life. Uh, in these couple of days at the start of the week is highly likely and I, I could say it will be a, a time where you're going to feel um, those revitalizing energies, okay? Like, you know, like the world is brought down into, uh, into your knees and it's the horizon is clear for you to move on, uh, move on forward. On top of it, with the Sun card, I... Uh, situations are going to get under control or they're going to start unfolding themselves naturally. That is a, a, a whole premise of the card as uh, in nature, the sun moves through sky naturally every day um, without any changes into it aside from the, um, aside from the, uh, from the twist of the earth. But the point is, it is the sun there naturally and, and nothing can take it away. And uh, that being said, with uh, the energy of this card, the best way how, making, how one can make use of it is by making other people happy as well. So at the very first couple of days of the week, guys, you have the chance to share your good fortune with other, your expanding energies of growth and uh, in generally, you know, your warmth, because that is what you are going to impose into the world, warmth everywhere you go. You have the ability to make everybody happy. Your child, your person of interest, your family, your supervisor or a boss, whomever you are targeting, you definitely can make them happy and you are going to be happy with it as well. And lastly, I would like to say here with the Sun card, it is that it's highly likely that at the start of the week, some uh, cl it's, it's clashes, it's kind of like uh, scandalous uh, situations like you know like you are fighting with somebody uh, verbally that is those situations are going to drop off as you both are going to realize the futility of the situation itself that nobody can can get the other one's uh, idea or a premise you know or a uh, in generally standpoint 
through and simply you both are going to realize that there is no point arguing anymore so just burying down the hatchets and moving uh, moving on. And right after that, we do have the Nine of Pentacles. And stepping on those expanding energies of growth, we do have you here jumping into a leap of development, either in terms of career or either in terms of relationship. So how this card could really play out? Well, that would be the big client that you are so much needing to in order to make your business even more successful. That would be the one that you are waiting for that is going to make you happy. You know, you made them happy beforehand. They saw how big potential you do have and they make you happy in return, right? That could be the job that you have so much wanted. Now, the thing with the nine of pentacles, it is that you have to be very confident of your abilities and of yourself as well because uh, when this leap into development appears to you as an opportunity that is, it's... Um, I can't say that it is likely, but still the self-doubt is going to be there in the sense of that, am I good enough in order to do it? Yes, you are. And you have to believe into, uh, into that thing. But in generally, you can expect from the start of the week towards the middle of the week, really good thing to happen to your Aquarius. It, a thing that is going to not just only promise you, but as well is going to give you the, 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 the path and is going to clear in front of you the path of you being either uh, successful in terms of some kind of career development or a, uh, into a relationship should be single or in generally quench your current relationship or a marriage as well. But you need to take the initiative at that point. That is a leap into development that you need to make, right? You need to make the leap there. Um, with the Nine of Pentacles, you're going to start feeling the carefree energies that are around you. Like, you know, like uh, there is not much of a concern that you have to be, uh, that you have to be attentive to. There, is, there isn't much of, a, uh, of an obstacles that are sitting or are bestowed upon you. It is just the self-confidence that needs to be checked here and that needs to be leaned on so you can, uh, you can push your drive moving forward. And right after that, we do have the death card. And this is the realization of that your older self cannot keep up with the situation. Now, as we did said here, uh, you are going to make a leap into development uh, towards the mid of the week. And this is the mid of the week here. We are realizing that your older self cannot manifest this, this development. You need to simply become better. And so towards the uh, mid of the week, you are going to scope out or analyze which side of your behavior or of your habits, you know, or in generally the ways that you do things around are in flux and you need to let go of, okay? So you can uh, pretty much abandon them or burn bridges with them or, or in generally leave them behind and you can replace them with a more productive, productive methods, more productive people that you are working with or more productive ways that you deal things around. Now, the death card is about change, okay? But in this particular case, uh, in a grand scheme of things, I do believe that this card speaks about internal change. If it is, ex if it is though external change, guys, it means that this leap into development is going to change your life, okay? But through a substitution. What I mean here, it is that say you are in a relationship, if the death plays about an, in the grand scheme of things, meaning that it's an, an entire change, well, then it does mean that somebody more suitable is going to come around, make you realize that your current relationship is not the relationship you want. You want a relationship with the new guy or with the new woman. OK, and so your old one needs to go away. And as much as you are going to break the heart of somebody, you got to do it if you want to be happy. Same thing plays out in terms of career. But I do believe that it's going to be more internal change than external because of the sun that comes first here. Because the sun pretty much banishes away any reason to be unhappy, okay? Or any reason to feel guilty or to feel poignant as well. 
Uh, and um, what was I about to say? Yeah, the, uh, the internal change, you know, your habits, the way of doing things and in general your methods, it's not going to be any difficult whatsoever for you to let go of. That is for the sheer realization, you know, that it's simply the new methods are just an upgrade on the, on the old ones and not just only an upgrade, but also make your life much more easier than before. So here we do have you queries being, uh, how can I say, more emancipated with the current situation, more in tune with the world, more more willing to, to give love in the right way, more willing to, to be productive, not willing, but more capable to be productive uh, in terms of your career. And right after you do make this, internal changes which are going to be pretty substantial i was about to say drastic but they're not drastic they're pretty substantial then the three of cups hap happens and this is the product of those changes this is the uh the uh how can i say the progression that you are about to establish here based on that leap of development this is where you see that everything not, not make sense, but how can I say it? All that you change with yourself, with the way that you are interacting with your boyfriend or a girlfriend, with the way that you are tackling with the project in, with the way that you are addressing the issues and with the way that you are dealing with your friends, all this produces far better results and these results are going to be immediate and imminent right after you do change your ways here, okay? and imminent and everybody is gonna like them. So uh, you can expect a lot of a following towards uh, from the mid towards the end of the week here with the Three of Cups. People are gonna cheer you out, they're gonna feel good about you and for you as well. Uh, it's highly likely that you're gonna forge a lot of alliances at that point. You're gonna side with a lot of people. Cumulative works is, work is going to be everywhere. And should you have certain feelings within yourself that you were scared to share beforehand because you may thought uh, or you may have been concerned of what other people are going to think about you or gonna say about you, this is no longer going to be concern of yours and you're going to freely share your feelings and your thoughts with everybody around. If there is somebody you like, you're going, they're going to be pretty much uh, being aware of. If there is somebody that you dislike, they're also going to be made uh, aware of here. Three of Cups, it could be as well um, seen as an engagement. That is a, a very generic meaning of the cards, of the card, you know, celebrations and engagement. And if that's the case, then the sheer realization here with the Sun card of how happy your partner makes you and how happy you make them as well. So through uh, each other's happiness, you are happy individually, then that pushes you towards the, the leap of development here, realizing that you have to get engaged. Uh, but you, when you get engaged, you need to set up for a family life rather than dating life. And this is the internal change, the, uh, the internal, how can I say, um, new way of thinking and taking the situation that makes you change your routine, change your, uh, change the way how you address the uh, relationship and bang, the engagement happened here towards the end of the week where you propose and they say, yes, yes. And uh, right after that, we do have the uh, five of cups and that is a little bit of a burst of a bubble because beforehand we do had the ideal unfoldment, right? Uh, and through that ideal unfoldment, you have your not just only expectations, but your imagination um, structured or uh, in, um, what was the word that I was searching for? I do apologize, guys. Um, imagined. Let's say it that way. So imagine how things are to develop in the future. So you do have certain bias and you are going to have a certain bias. And here with the Five of Cups, you do realize that not everything goes the way that it is planned, you know, certain uh, in certain uh, situations, in a certain ways, things are not going to work out as well as they have expected. 
but they are going to work out. So towards the end of the week, you are to uh, realize the hard way and see the hard way that things aren't perfect, okay? And you have to maneuver in a certain situation here and there, situations here and there. Some things are gonna turn out to be a bit more difficult that you have anticipated them to be, right? And uh, at that point, your relentlessness is going to be tested. What I mean it is that no matter how disappointed you may be from not meeting up with expectations or how hurt you may be from losing one thing which is not going to be substantial because the Five of Cups, if it does refer to certain loss that you're gonna feel bad about a certain loss, that loss is just a partial one, all right? It's not something that you are gonna die from, it's not something that is gonna make you lose your job, it's not something that is gonna make you lose your relationship as well. So that's just a partial loss, temporary disappointments, things like that, and these, Predict they are not even predicaments, but let's say setbacks should not be a reason why you should abandon the leap into development because this is what the Five of Cups could make you do, right? Say, saying to yourself, well, maybe it's too much of a hassle to keep up with it. No, it's not. It's a path you chose and it's a path you need to walk on. So no give up on, on it at all. Because at the start of the week, you had a taste of it, you had a taste of happiness, you saw how much it can grow, right, with the Sun card, and you should live up to the expectations of growth. So you should not give up on it at all, no matter what happens towards the, uh, the end of the week. Especially when you saw beforehand with the Three of Cups, the very first results of it and how everybody was happy for you and about you as well. So that being said, Aquarius, that was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed it and you do liked it. And uh, with that being said, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.